Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. We have just finished researching advanced electricity, and this popped up, so I thought I'd bring you back into the game here. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, we jumped into the Rungaran system, and we were met with quite a few things when we first uh, stabilized our space station. First thing happened was some squids showed up, and they've been kind of crawling around the station, and they inflate and deflate, but that's about all they do. They're not, you know, causing any buffs or debuffs or anything like that. So I'm guessing something will be happening with them soon. I don't know. We will have to keep playing to find out. And we were also attacked by some space pirates. We were able to kill one of them. The other two got down to our storage and stole some items, and then they fled. And it looks like we have a few more coming at us right now. So let's see what Feather has to say. Captain, we have a sensor contact burning hot on intercept course with Tooth One Station. Drive signature matches the hostile ship from before. Looks like they're going to try again. Open the channel they used last time. So we've got some options here to respond to the dead air. Hostile vessel, divert your course immediately or you will be fired upon. Hostile vessel, you are attacking a peaceful exploration station. Please divert, we mean you no harm. Hmm, this is the first decision uh, in this we have been given. Let's uh, let's see if we can plead our case for being peaceful. Uh, no response. Feather cuts the comm and alert the crew. So we need to get our guards ready. Yes, sir. Rally the guards. All right. So we'll go ahead and click on advanced medicalry. And then let's go ahead and pick some of our meeples to be guards. So I'm looking for guards over 10. I don't know why. It's an arbitrary R numbered, a number I assign for people to be guards. So Marimba gets it. The stranger gets to be a guard. I feel like, was Vacuum another good guard? Yep, Vacuum's a good guard. And then Toothbud? No, Muskrat? No, maybe it was Halibut. Okay, Halibut. I think we had about four guards. All right, so we got our guards selected. So now we need to fight off the attackers. And we're going to go into normal speed. And we're going to set a rally, rally point for our guards here. And we're just going to keep moving it. Because I want the four guards to stay here in this main room. I don't want them going anywhere else besides this room. Because this is where all the attackers are going to have to go to. No matter what they do. So we're just going to keep them moving in this nice little square. I see three of them. Where'd the fourth one go? Alright, so there's one attacker. He got fried. Very nice. So let's see if we can get some more of the attackers to show up. Okay, one more coming through the door. He is turning around. And he is hightailing it. Nope, he's coming back. Here he comes. Nope, he's uh, chickening out. Let's see where he goes. Is he going to come around? All right, so let's see if he comes down on this door here. Nope, maybe not. I think he uh, peaced out of here. He saw his friend get vaporized. I see one more flying out there. Let's see if they decide to land or not. Nothing yet. All right, I think we've fought off the attackers. Let's see. There it goes. All right, the attackers have all either been vaporized or fled the station, sir. They were definitely going for our supplies again. Where are we at with the science wing? We're sitting ducks out here with no defenses. They still need to work out the advanced medicalry so we can make use of more of the resources out here, but we can start building advanced power infrastructure we will need now. Captain, excellent. I will oversee that right away. So our objective is to go ahead and research that. Uh, let's go ahead and switch these guys off of guards. So Halibut, I am pretty sure you were a scientist. So let's get you back on that. And then Vacuum, I think, was a chef. Yeah, Vacuum was a chef. Get him back to work cooking meals. Um, let's see here. The Stranger... We can assign him as a miner, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and assign him as a miner. Get some more minerals mined. And Marimba was actually a pilot, but we're not going to be doing a lot of... Eh, you know what? We can get him back as a pilot and go do some scouting missions. So let's assign him as that. And then we will unpause the game. And let's go ahead and assign Marimba to pilot the finch again. Marimba. So he will come back. I did do a little mining uh, off screen. 
So let me go ahead and unload these supplies here. Perfect. All right, so we need to go ahead and start working on advanced power. So let's go to that and power. So I think it's just converters. So we got a transformer here that uh, consumes electricity and transforms it into advanced electricity. And this is an advanced power cell, a large battery pack that stores advanced electricity. All right, so let's go ahead and plop down. Um, where do I want to put it? That's going to be the million dollar question. Let's expand a wing off right here. So Hacksaw will need to do a lot of building. All right, graded hall. And then we're going to do just something like that. And you can start building that for us. See if Marimba's made his way down to the ship. He has. Fantastic. Uh, let's go to the edge of our system way out here. And there's some debris. And we will send him to scout that. And away he goes. Goodbye, Marimba. Hopefully you find us some pretty cool stuff. Uh, a couple other little things I did off screen. They weren't really major. Expanded our storage a little bit. I put some bulkhead doors down here. Um, just to kind of isolate some of this stuff. Uh, ooh, we got an infection. Vacuums and wounds have gotten worse. All right, so we need to make sure we assign someone as a doctor, which, uh, let's see here. Well, it can't be vacuum, so let's see who is our doctor. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. No, not spare rib. Is it marmalade, maybe? Nope. All right, I wish, the one thing I wish we had was like a search function. Here we go, loophole. Sign job and doctor. So he can go ahead and patch up vacuum so we don't have to worry too much about that infection. All right, so anyways, like I was saying, I was, did some expanding off screen, added some storage, put bulkhead doors uh, to isolate some of these areas. Uh, we're obviously expanding this over here now. I uh, also added... Um, I redid this, which I think you guys saw, added that air vent there, and I upgraded some of the rooms. I put in dressers and lamps in all the rooms, and the feathers uh, room got a desk as well, so everyone's room is now at least satisfactory. I don't think anyone's above satisfactory right now. No. So they're all at satisfactory. All right, let's see what the Lakov Initiative has to trade. And we can go ahead and buy some better medical supplies. Keep that nice at 20. Let's go ahead and sell off all of our biomass. We can sell... Hmm, diamonds are at 24. We'll go ahead and sell two diamonds. Let's sell some... Ooh, we got a lot of silicone. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some silicone off. Get that under 1,000. We're going to sell off some iron ore. Get that under 1,000 as well. Or maybe like... Yeah, we'll get it under a thousand. It's a lot of clicking. Sorry if you can hear it, but there we go, under a thousand. I'll go ahead and buy that last of that carbon. It's only ten. And I think that's plenty of trade. Ooh, sixty-five for raw thorium. We'll sell you ten. Give us our get us over ten thousand there. And then let's go ahead and buy their fine meals and lavish meals and sell the last of our biomass, and that's it. Thank you for trading with us. We really appreciate it. All right, so we've got 42 out of 500. So we will move along on that. Let's go down here and see if we got our expansion done. Almost. Hacksaw's got two and a half squares left to go. Check in on the Finch. It is out there exploring AG6. And it'll be done in 15 seconds or so. Um, sometimes when you're out exploring, you can find uh, goods. So electronics, metal, things like that. You can also find research every so often. It looks like this time we only got good. So we'll say, okay, bring the finch back and we will send it back out again and hopefully find some research to kind of help things along. Um, so we don't have to keep researching all these big things. So if we could find either the albatross or maybe this, and that would help us out quite a bit. All right, so Hacksaw has built that out there. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Hexal, but we got more work for you to do. So we're going to go ahead and plop down a transformer right there. And let's go ahead and put some power cells. We'll put three power. Oops, not enough resources. What do we need? Advanced electronics. All right, let's make sure we're crafting enough advanced electronics. We have the minimum set at 10, and we're going to bump that up to 30 now. Minimum 
so we can start making more of those and we need electronics and diamonds and for diamonds we got plenty of electronics it looks like which i think we also have plenty of silicone to make more yep all right diamonds we need a lot of carbon and we have a fair amount of carbon let's go ahead and increase the number of diamonds we keep at our minimum as 20 and make that minimum there perfect so now they will go ahead and start producing all that hacksaw came in and built the converter so i think we need to hook it up to regular electricity to start so let's go do that and then we will just go do 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 and that should hook it up to regular power and then we'll do an advanced power right there so those are hooked up like that all right hacksaw where'd you go bud i'm not sure here he comes all right let's go ahead and build that normal electricity connection to that Perfect, so that should start converting electricity and then we'll need to make sure we hook up uh, to the battery. And as you guys can see, we're producing some uh, advanced electricity there. Nice. Uh, the other thing that I did do while everyone was gone is I put in some teleportation pads. So I got one here in the kitchen, one here in the uh, living quarters, and then one all the way down here by the uh, jump drive. All right, so the finch is back. Let's get it ready to travel to another place to do some exploration. Uh, ooh, it bugs out like that sometimes. So let's go all the way back over here and we're gonna select that. Debris detected, go ahead and scout that. All right, he gets to come back just for a few seconds and he is pushed right out back the door. All right, so we got our advanced electricity going. We've got 50 stored. Let's make sure that he built the connector he didn't. So let's go ahead and build the connector there. So that will allow us to start storing some of that advanced electricity. All right, there we go. I wonder if we should also expand, let's expand our solar panel a little bit since we've got the resources, I think. Yep, glass, electronics, and aluminum. Let's go ahead and put three more here and we'll put three more there as well. So six more solar panels to get us a little bit more normal power. Because um, I think we're going to start consuming a lot more normal power than we have been in the past. Uh, otherwise, I think that's about everything I did off screen. I got those teleporter pads in, covered the made adjustments down here, expanded storage. Yeah. Um, comment down below on what you like about the station. You know, tell me about the stations you're building. Let me know what you should you I I should do differently to make this station better. Because uh, obviously, it could be better and certain areas or you know let me know what you like about what i did in my station how you're going to carry that over into your game uh and if you do comment please like the video and then don't forget to subscribe to tooth and scrubs gaming so you're getting all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion all right we got another trade partner here pickle and pickaxe has landed let's see what we can buy off them uh we'll sell them some biomass and then let's go ahead and buy, as we always do, their fine meals and lavish meals. We will sell them some, let's see, sell them some raw thorium, because that's worth quite a bit. Uh, cobalt, we could sell them cobalt and titanium if we wanted to. We'll sell them a little bit of iron ore again, just to kind of balance everything out, make sure we have plenty of storage for other things. All right, get that to 990 and I think we will leave it at we'll buy their carbon and I think we'll leave it at that all right thank you pickle and pickaxe for stopping by we always appreciate trading with you guys and we got quite a bit of money now so that's good all right how are we doing on oop uh you're so we've unlocked a new technology trade agreements nice I'll take it not the one that we wanted exactly but um it's better than a swift kick in the butt. So let's go to comms and, ooh, hostile aliens. Ooh, look at that. See, there's their third eye. Uh, oof. I'm not even gonna try and read that. So we could send them a tribute, request a tribute, request workers. I'm guessing if we click on this, if we're gonna get more gibberish. Transmission cut, okay. Um, that's fine. But let's go talk with Pickle and Pickaxe. And we can't set up a trade agreement with them. Tribute, request tribute. I wonder if it just does it automatically. 
check the other ones just to be sure, nothing there. And I'm guessing there's gonna be nothing under vigorous so applied sciences. Nope, okay. Um, so we will leave it at that. So I assume that just does it automatically. Oh, here we go. There's more things we could research. We've unlocked bribery, greatly increases the chances and effects of tributes and requesting tributes from other factions, docking fees. Introduce docking fees for traders arriving at your station, easy way to help boost your profits. Interesting, interesting indeed. So we could select a couple of other um, things when it comes to trade agreements. We'll have to research those in the future. Uh, we're at 141 on advanced metal gree. I am probably pronouncing that wrong, so let me know if you guys know the right way to pronounce it. Definitely down below in the comments, because I uh, feel like I'm pronouncing that completely wrong. Go ahead and sell off some of our vegetables, sell off a little bit of our fish, get rid of our biomass there. We sell a little raw thorium as always, uh, just because it's worth so much. We'll sell 20 there. Uh, what else could we sell off? Uh, we'll get our iron ore under a thousand again. And I mean, I think we'll leave it at that. Let's check their diamonds. Eight. Oh, their diamonds are cheap. Go ahead and buy off those diamonds. Sometimes I see they get up to 24 and we obviously need a lot of diamonds. So we'll keep that at that. Perfect. Still researching away. The finch is back. So let's send it on another mission to find some more debris and hopefully get us some more research all right so this has debris we will send that out to do some more scouting if you guys haven't checked out any of my other series please do they are fantastic just like this one doing be castled right now i just finished up the first castle in the early access probably going to start doing another one so uh, look for that in the future what else do I have? I got Company of Heroes, uh, the first three missions in the original U.S. campaign. I will continue to do those uh, missions. Uh, they do take a little longer to record because sometimes those missions are, you know, 45 minutes an hour uh, where I like keeping these Meeple Station videos, Be Castle videos at about 20 minutes each. I also have Balance City. It's a nice little city builder um, that is different than most cities or city builder games. So check that out to see how fun and um, challenging that game can be at times. All right, we got another trade vessel coming in. Let's see what Pickle and Pickaxe has for us this time. Diamonds are still at eight, so we'll go ahead and buy those other diamonds off them. Raw Thorium did drop, so we won't sell any this time. Um, but we'll buy that carbon off them. And let's see, what else could we buy? We'll sell our biomass, buy the meals, of course. Uh, simple meals are pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and buy some off them just to have a nice stockpile in case we start to run out of food. And that's it. All right. Uh, medical supplies, 34. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more medical supplies. That sounds good to me. We'll go ahead and close that out. And then let's go ahead and increase the number of computer cores we're also holding. And we'll make that a nice 20 as well. And minimum. So we have plenty of those sitting around when it comes time to build. I'm assuming some of this more advanced stuff we're researching right now. We're almost halfway, not quite, almost 200 with advanced. Got everyone doing what they need to be doing. Let's go check on the finch and it's 50 seconds till it's done exploring out there. All right, all right. So we'll just let this run for a second. You guys can kind of watch the meeples do their things. There's the teleporter. You see that where it kind of flashes up and down. That's pretty cool. Uh, the one thing I have noticed about this game, I just feel like there's always uh, poop on the floor. And our janitors can't keep up, even though I think I have like three janitors assigned. There's just not enough. Um, I don't know if it's spawning too quickly or the janitors don't clean it up quick enough. But either way, I think they need to... Um, balance that a little bit better and looks like we just found some electronics with the finch uh, on that run so we'll get the finch back here and send it off one more time let's see I don't think we have anything marked for mining so let's make sure we mark some more stuff in this area and we got aluminum and iron iron silicone and ice uh, let's go ahead and get some ice 
stores built up and get all that highlighted there highlight that there let's go see what pickle and pickaxe have to trade again buy the fine and lavish meals we will sell them a couple fish our biomass and diamonds are at eight we'll buy those diamonds off them and buy the carbon off them as well and that will call it on that trade deal fantastic finch should be back any second now Ooh, two minutes left it's got quite a bit of time all right so in this episode we defended ourselves from the uh the attackers, the hostile aliens, and at least now we got a photo of them, and they look pretty cool. I like the um, the third eye and the, the white skin and the laser rifle. Yeah, that's, that's going on. The story is certainly developing. We got our advanced electricity set up, and it's starting to produce a little bit of elect advanced electricity. Not using it for anything yet, but hopefully in the episodes to come, we will get that going. So don't forget to like the video. Comment down below, um, both on the quality of the video, like I always ask, you know, I'm always looking for feedback, both on audio quality, commentary quality, video quality, whatever. Uh, let me know. I will not take any offense to that. It helps me grow as a uh, content creator. And then obviously, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs Gaming Channel so you get this great content on time in an orderly fashion, just as the Finch rolls back into the station. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you in the next Meeple Station video.